Here we are, Nick. We're uh, we stood next to the, uh, the National Cenotaph. Uh, why are we here? Well, as you may remember, uh, very shortly after Lee Rigby was murdered, mm. we held a demonstration uh, and we're going to lay a wreath uh, at the Cenotaph in his memory. Uh, we were stopped from doing so uh, by a, uh, a very militant far-left presence. Uh, and the police, we felt, should have cleared him out of the way. The police claimed that they didn't. Mm. Uh, the police, in the end that day, did lay our wreath for us, mm. but it wasn't the same. We wanted to make the, make the fact clear that we can and will and do lay wreaths at the Cenotaph, uh, like uh, all the other political parties. Uh, so we've done this today uh, with the full cooperation of the police. Um, and as you've seen, it's worked very well. It has indeed, yeah. And um, we, we've seen other politicians laying wreaths last weekend. And I could have been sick, actually, when I was watching them. I thought that was a total travesty. Yeah, indeed. When you have people who are continually pressing for war, um, coming and laying wreaths on behalf of those who've fallen in war, there is something a little sick about it. Mm. And I suppose they have to lay wreaths because they're, you know, the head of the government has to lay a wreath. Uh, but you would hope that somewhere in the back of their minds when they stood here, mm. uh, it does make them think, should we really be sending boys and girls to fight and die in a war that's got nothing at all to do with us? Indeed. And uh, obviously we've got a couple of veterans here, myself and mm -hmm. Pete Malloy. He's here on behalf of the British Veterans Group. So it's good to see a few veterans in our ranks as well, isn't it? It certainly is. Obviously we have, well, really quite a lot more. Uh, and especially when I was first involved in politics, the number of veterans involved in the cause was shrinking every year. Mm. The fact is that now because of... Um, Iraq, Afghanistan and so on. It's actually now growing, I think. Mm. And uh, you used to think of veterans as being old chaps. Uh, you know, now there's veterans in the 20s. Uh, so it's uh, a tradition which is very long established, very worthy and is going to go on for a very long time to come. Mm. So overall, very successful day here today. Yeah, very successful. I've been struck by uh, the number of other parades there, uh, there are. In particular, there's a lot of guardsmen uh, mm. walking around. Some have been watching us and so on. Uh, they've got a parade later on. Mm. Uh, and of course, we've always been torn to an extent in the British National Party between should we come to London for uh, a main event uh, or should we lay wreaths and pay respects mm. in our own areas, and especially as an elections-based party with councillors and so on. Obviously, you've got to do things mm. locally. Uh, but seeing here today and how it's worked well with the police and so on, uh, I think that we need to discuss really seriously whether in fact that uh, what we should do in future years, starting in 2014, mm. um, the anniversary after all of the 100th year of mm -hmm. the First World War, uh, that we should lay our wreaths and pay respects at our local cenotaphs and memorials uh, on the Sunday nearest the 11th, mm. uh, and then organise a major national event down here uh, on the following Sunday. Uh, I think that people would find it very moving, very worthwhile, something you know, to build comradeship. Mm. But uh, I throw the thing out there for people to think about and look forward to hearing what people think. Well, indeed. I mean, today's been a great success. Um, you know, there's, there's not loads of us, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we're here and we've shown our presence and we're, um, you know, paying respect yes. to the people who've gone before. As you know, we were here this, this year uh, below the radar mm. uh, to see how it went, to see how things were with the police because um, they haven't been ideal with us in some past occasions, especially in London. As it's gone well, I do think, like I say, that we need to give very serious consideration to making this an annual event, not below the radar, but here, you know, loud and proud, the British National Party parading to the Cenotaph, laying our wreaths, paying our respects. Just like everybody else does.